Hi guys, this is the second example on computing R squared. Why this one's worth doing is because it's not uh, easy to directly calculate the explained sum of squares. Simple linear regression model, we've got the residual sum of squares, say this. Uh, we showed in problem 10 that the standard error of the regression is that number. We now know that the equation for r squared may be written like this, explain sum of squares over the total sum of squares. So there's two steps here. We're only given though the residual sum of squares guys. So we're missing this and this. So first find the explain sum of squares. This is where you need to focus, this is the key thing. For a simple linear regression model that we have here, intercept one slope, the explain sum of squares is given by this expression, the estimate of the slope all squared times this thing, which is called the corrected sum of squares for x. So you can memorize that, or you can show that. That's going to be another video. I'm not doing it in this video, so I'm just treating that as a fact. The standard error for the slope is given by this expression. Again, you could just memorize it, or some of you might need to know how to prove the thing. From the question, we're told the beta hat, the standard error of the regression, and the standard error of the slope. Here. Estimate, standard error of the slope, and this which we showed in problem 10. Okay, so just look at these two equations and just see which one we know and which we don't. So from equation 2, we can back out the corrected sum of squares of x and then we can substitute that into 1 because we know both beta hat and this to get the ESS so that's the thing we're going to do so from 2 just rearrange it so corrected sum of squares over that side standard error this side this is the square root so we need to square root but uh, take the square of both sides okay then substitute the numbers there substitute this number in to the equation 1 to get the ESS it's that number. Step two, compute the total sum of squares. We know that uh, regression model with an intercept that this holds. So then TSS we can get that. And then finally, substitute now we've got ESS and TSS into the equation. We get this number or multiplied by 100, and that gives us in terms of percentage terms. So the key thing here, guys, is uh, not the number crunching. It's just the key thing I think for this video is this expression okay something that you might want to try to uh, prove alright guys hope that was helpful short but important I think so uh, yep comment share like